Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of my live tea tasting. I've got something different for you plan, uh, planned for you guys today, and I I don't know if it's going to be uh, a good idea or a bad idea, uh, but I know it's going to be uh, a very filling idea. Uh, so tonight, I'm going to be streaming uh, Adagio's uh, Summer Blend, Passion Summer Breeze. Uh, now this is going to be interesting because I know that a lot of the time I talk about how uh, I wonder if a tea is going to be just as good as it, uh, as it is hot um, as it's iced. Uh, well, I'm going to put that theory to the test today and I'm going to be brewing... Hey Ma, welcome! Uh, I'm going to be brewing two versions of this tea, both hot and cold. So this is going to be quite interesting. Um, I've already I've already had like a sample of it iced. Uh, I haven't had it hot. Uh, looks like I'm having some issues with the Wi-Fi. I don't know. Something just stopped. I hope I'm still going. Uh, guys, let me know if uh, Beth, Shanna, welcome. Uh, say hi because I don't know if uh, Wally, welcome. I don't know if uh, if I'm getting any. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm getting any messages, because I just had some sort of interruption on the stream. But uh, go ahead and say hello. Uh, let me know if you guys can hear me, and if I can hear you, I hope that we have like good communication going back and forth. Um, okay, there you go. Hey, Beth, welcome, welcome. All right, here we go. So, uh, as I was saying, I'm going to brew this thing twice. Uh, once hot and once cold, and uh, we'll see how that goes. And I just realized I forgot to get my, ouch, I forgot to get my teaspoon. Yeah, I'm always slightly unprepared. <laughs> and I sat there and I did a checklist. Normally I don't use a teaspoon though, so I wasn't thinking. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I see you too, Beth. Uh, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to start with the iced tea, um, and I'll tell you why in uh, just a moment, and then I'll brew it hot. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open this up. This is going to be amazing. Oh, wow, this thing is like really, really full. Oh, that is nice. It's got, it's, it's passion fruit with a lot of, like, creaminess to it. Right off the bat, like, all I smell is cream. Uh, so this has uh, passion fruit tango, raspberries, strawberry pieces, and marigold. I'm glad you guys can hear me. Rachel, welcome. Oh, yes, this is really nice. Like you, You're getting like a lot of the fruit, a lot of the cream, and a slight citrus. Uh, you can, you can t get the... Sneha, welcome. You can get like a really nice uh, blend of the um, of the strawberry in there as well. So I'm really looking forward to uh, what are we tasting uh, tonight? We're tasting Passion Summer Breeze, but I'm doing um, something a little bit different uh, because I usually when, whenever I talk about teas, uh, I talk about whether or not I think it'll taste good cold. Uh, well, we're gonna put that theory to the test. I'm going to brew one hot pot and one cold pot. Uh, so, without further ado, because I am dying to try this out, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with the iced tea. Uh, tonight I'm going to be using the, uh, the pitcher. Uh, I, the, the last time I did iced tea, I did it in the same fashion, uh, the same kind of pot. Uh, basically this is used to, where's, where's the lid? Oh, of course, the lid is all the way on the other side because, you know, Again, slightly unprepared. Uh, <laughs> okay, so basically, the way this works is I'll take you step by step. Uh, when you make iced tea, you want to use twice as much uh, tea as you normally would because you're going to dil dilute it with uh, extra water coming from the ice. So in this case, I am going to I'm going to try not to block your vision too much there we go so I'm going to use for this pitcher uh, about eight teaspoons and it's already making a mess <laughs> that's, that's all right I'll clean it up after 
because I'm a responsible adult, quote unquote. There we go. Ah, oh, I'm making way too much of a mess. <laughs> you guys can't see it. But this thing is like so overpacked that I've got I've got marigold everywhere. Okay, so I would <laughs> show you guys. Uh, you know what? Let me let me just dust some of this off and put it in there because it's going to be very annoying. There we go. Okay, so uh, I'm starting off with about eight teaspoons. Uh, it's going to be filled up to about here. And then I take the lid and screw it on top. So this is going to drop into the pitcher, the pitcher I have right here. Ralph, welcome. So I've got the pitcher in hand. I got everything as far as I can tell. I'm completely, uh, I'm completely, um, prepared from this point on hopefully I won't have to like run around and grab something else uh, but yeah as far as I can tell everything is, is is in place I turned on the water uh, so in a couple of minutes we're going to have <gasps> oh excuse me we're gonna have uh, the the tea uh, well the water nice and hot uh, so there are two ways to brew uh, iced uh, iced tea the first way is the way that I'm doing it now where you heat up the water the way you normally would, uh, pour it in, steep it for however long you can steep it, then um, you pull out the, the, the tea, dump in the ice, and you're golden. You know, um, usually do six teaspoons uh, if you cold steep it. Yeah, that's true. That, that's the second point I was going to make. Um, but it all depends on the size of the pitcher. Uh, I assume, Shanna, you're using the same kind. Um, I think this is a quart. Uh, let's see. I believe it's a quart. It doesn't say on here. Uh, oh, it's two quarts. Yeah, because I'm not good at guesstimating. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So this is two quarts. I usually do uh, eight teaspoons of it and I mean that's just my preference I prefer a stronger uh, a stronger taste than usual so whenever I do make iced tea I use uh, eight um, eight teaspoons uh, but yeah so when I when you hot uh, when you hot steep it you just do it for the normal time you would keep the tea in there dump the ice in and you're golden However, in this case, since this is a, it's not a tea, it's an herbal blend, uh, you can leave it in for as long as you need to. That's why I'm brewing this one first. Oh, you do have the same one. Okay, cool. Um, so you can leave it in longer. Uh, it's actually two quarts. It says it uh, on the bottom. Uh, do you put the ice in the hot tea? Yeah. That's, there's two ways of doing that depending on the, um, on the equipment you have as well. Uh, if you have a, a, a glass pot that you're brewing it in, you don't want to throw the ice in there because it would, uh, it, it might shatter. But I'm using, this is plastic, so it's able to withstand the heat and the quick uh, change into cold. So I'm going to dump the ice into here directly and then pour it out after. Uh, but either, you'll be able to do that either in... Uh, in the pitcher or in the cup that you're using, as long as it's uh, plastic or uh, porcelain, something like that, something that's able to withstand the uh, the quick temperature change, you're good to go. Uh, so it sounds like my my water is getting close to to done, um, but since this is an herbal blend, it's not going to oversteep. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm going to that's why I'm doing this first. So as I'm drinking the hot tea, uh, that can continue to steep and uh, it, it'll bring out more of the flavor. Uh, I'm going to also do both of them unsweetened uh, as usual. Normally I like to sweeten my iced tea, but in this case I'm just going to forget, uh, forego that. I might do it after the stream, I don't know. Uh, I don't think that this would need it because I have had it iced before. Well, no, I've had it cold before. Um, it was, well, technically it was iced because, I mean, they had the ice 
in the bowl, and then like they had the pitcher in the ice bowl, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so that's where <laughs> that's that's where uh, my strategy is. I'm going to brew it. The I'm going to hot brew it longer. Um, if you do decide to cold brew it, uh, it's a process that's going to take a lot longer because hot water tends to pull out the flavor faster than cold. So if you're going to uh, cold brew it, do it overnight. Uh, and when I say overnight, I mean literally like overnight into the next day. You'll, about 24 hours, you'll have a good, uh, a good flavor. Uh, I have made the mistake of trying to cold brew it at work uh, in, uh, in ice water. And it literally took for one cup of tea. It literally took about six hours. It like I started it in the morning and I couldn't drink it until like the end of the day. It was crazy, uh, but I learned that lesson. I'm never gonna do that again. Uh, next time, up oh, it's sliding down. Uh, next time it was. Uh, next time I'm just going to to do it hot into cold, which takes a matter of minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's. That's how I that's how I felt. It was like, oh, it was awful. Oh, looks like the water's done, so I'm going to go ahead and it was more than 8 hours. Like uh, if if you're going to do it in the fridge, it's going to take more than 8 hours. I speak for from experience as well about that too. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pour the hot water in here. Oh, it's starting to leak a little bit. That's okay. Oh, thanks. It was uh it was uh, a gift from a friend. Uh, you can cold brew it, but you don't get all the flavor. That's That was the problem. Like, I tried it overnight, and it did not work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drop it in here. And let the process go. So I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side. And let it go while I refill the water pitcher. Or the water... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I forget the I forget the technical term. It's the water heater thingy. I'm being scientific now. That is the scientific word for it, water heater thingy. And it's almost done. <laughs> uh, which which one did I do for what? What do you mean? Which uh. Tea did I did I ice for more than eight hours? It was it was an herbal blend, uh, but I mean honestly, it doesn't matter which one I did because it's more the process of osmosis that was giving me that was giving me trouble. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start the process for the hot tea. Whew, that smells amazing. Like I I love the way that this thing smells. It's very very. Tropical, very fruity. Oh, so I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. It's a very beautiful looking tea as well. All right, there we go. Got to close that up. Oh, okay, so take a look at this. Look at how beautiful. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like on its own. Instead of through, look at how bright that color is. It's a lot of red and pink and yellow. Yeah, herbals take forever. Um, it, it's not necessarily that they take forever, but rather they can withstand uh, a longer amount of heat. Um, you can get it for um, you can get it for uh, for five uh, for for five minutes at two hundred and twelve, but it can stay longer if you prefer it. Uh, the mango herbal that we blended for eight hours. Uh, yeah, that one we did, but that was a much smaller, uh, a much smaller vessel. So you, you didn't have to wait as long. Uh, the citrus mint green is also good in eight hours. Uh, yeah, if you cold brew it, um, green tea because um, because green tea usually you can do at a lower temperature for three minutes and you're good to go, it's not going to be a, uh, a longer process when it's uh, when it's steeped. 
Uh, but check it out. Like, you see these giant chunks of strawberry in there. And, like, it smells exactly like you would think. A lot of citrus, a lot of creamy berry flavor. Oh, it smells amazing. And I'm, like, I, I'm, I'm in love with the smell. Like, I would put this in a closet and just let it ruminate. It's a very summery smell, very tropical, very, um, it's, 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 it's delicious, you know? Okay, so it sounds like my, uh, my, my water's almost done. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot to bring Quackhead with me, so, uh, I'm just gonna have to time this by, uh, by my wristwatch. But all is well. Oh. Yeah, I'm way too close. I have to sit back. <laughs> I mean, this is like the typical uh, summer summer thing. You just sit back and, ah, you know. Oh, my God. And I haven't even started to... to, to uh, I haven't even started to, to brew it yet. But actually, it was probably... I'm probably smelling the, uh, the tea from the, from the pot right over here. Too. Well, not the pot, the pitcher. Because it's not that far away. It's like literally right over there. So I'm, I'm smelling that. And the thing is, like, it's got uh, a rubber seal around it to help keep the, uh, keep the, the thing from spilling. Keep the tea from spilling. But even still, like, the smell is getting out. It's, it's super strong, and I'm loving every minute of it. So I, I'm, like, I'm getting bombarded from, like, over there and from, over, from down here and back and forth and back and forth. And it's, like... Oh my god, this is really nice. I can't wait to I, I can't wait to try this thing. Um, I've never had it hot, uh, but I have had the passion fruit uh, tango with. Um, uh, I have had it hot. The only thing is, you know, I don't know if I mentioned how it has lemongrass in it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say it on here. So it's got raspberries, strawberry pieces, marigold, uh, passion fruit, lemongrass. Uh, and I think that's it. I, <laughs> I don't have it, uh, I don't have the passion fruit tango recipe with me. Um, but I'm, I'm assuming it's just like the, the passion fruit with the lemongrass, uh, and some marigold. I don't see anything else in there. But honestly, it doesn't need anything else. It's incredible. Okay, so the water is now done. I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this out. And make sure that I have enough. There we go, because I did do it once where I didn't have enough water in the pitcher. And I had to, uh, I had to, to heat up some more while it was brewing. Yeah, that was not a pretty sight. Because <laughs> the tea at the bottom was getting steeped, but the tea at the top wasn't. Uh, it was awful. Okay, so uh, it's 8.23. At 8.28, uh, I'm going to take this out, and uh, we'll start the tasting from there. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be incredible. Like This entire room smells like tropical goodness, and I am uh, I'm loving it. It does not match the weather outside. The, the weather is awful. And, like, this is supposed to be the beginning of summer. You know, I, I think today is the first day, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it's just, oh, my God, it's awful outside. It's, like, 50 some degrees and raining. And I don't know if you guys can see, it's, like, super cloudy out there. Yeah, not a pretty sight. Oh, but oh, well. I'm kind of uh, <laughs> missing Australia weather already, because I mean that it, well, the entire time I was there it was like in the 70s, and it was it was incredible. Like, oh, uh, I miss 70 degree weather. <laughs> I think we had maybe three days of it uh, in Chicago, and that was that. I just want to go ahead. Oof, I'm like this this this. This scent is affecting me in the best way. <laughs> like, you see the way that I'm talking. It's like I can't really, I can't really concentrate because I'm getting this really nice feeling. And that's just from the smell. I haven't even started the taste yet. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, real quick, I'm going to open up the 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 um, I'm going to open up the floor to questions and comments, uh, just as a, a, an in between because right now I have two teas brewing, um, and it's not really. <laughs> it's, I, I've got time to kill before I get to the actual tasting, and I mean that's not a bad thing, but you know, I mean, I, I'm sure you guys have questions of uh, either hot or cold uh, teas. In this case, I, I'm, fully, I'm fully confident that this is going to taste amazing in both. Uh, but I will do a... Uh, I, will, I will do the in front of you. Was it you do not miss the hot, humid weather? Well, I know. It's, <laughs> it, you, you are a winter child. <laughs> You've always been one for uh, the, cooler, the cooler temperatures. Not freezing, I know, but cooler. Oh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I lost my train of thought. I was thinking about something and pfft, brain fart. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so, uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Uh, I'm fully confident it's going to taste really great both ways. Um, I mean, I've had, I, I, I love tropical uh, tastes and tropical teas. Um, and I think that, that this is going to be a very, um, it's going to be a very, it's going to be a very fulfilling experiment. Uh, I've never done this for you guys before. I've never, I've never done it at all before. So, um, I'm just going to bombard my, my senses with, uh, with the tea and hope for the best. Uh, since I'm going to be drinking... Looks like I'm going to be drinking about three cups, which I have done before. Um, I've actually no, I, I'm on the tea stream. I think my record was two, four, five cups of tea. So this should be a snap. You know, uh, I I I, <laughs> I am in for the endurance. Uh, let me test the weather. Come on, there we go. So I got one more minute before I can get this thing started, and I am like I'm. I'm excited to do it. Right now, all the smell uh, is is really it's 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 incredible. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what the tea looks like now. There we go. Look at how red and pink that is. Check it out. That is amazing. It's got a very beautiful bright uh, tint to it. Was it? Oh, I yeah, I probably will be peeing all night, but that's you know, at my age, that's just the natural thing. <laughs> oh my god, there we go. So yeah, that looks like it's coming out really, really nice. Okay, there we. Oh, I hate this thing. It's not giving me the right angle. You guys are gonna miss my pretty face. So, uh, eight twenty-eight. There we go. Bladder and kidney cleanse and everything else. Ow, ow, ow. That's hot. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull this out real quick. Ow. That is... Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> this is a little hotter than usual. Ooh, I will show you guys what that looks like in uh, just a few minutes once it cools down. Ooh, my fingers are like getting burnt. <laughs> it's not not a good feeling. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this out real quick for you. Oh, look at how beautiful that color is. It's nice and pink. I wish I would have picked a better cup to drink out of tonight because it's you can't really see it's it's a pretty dark. Um, it's a pretty dark blue, so I can try to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, don't forget the tea bags. I will never forget the tea bags in my face because that is part of every show after dark. Twenty dollar cover charge. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, I, I made a little bit of a mess. Pouring it out, but that's okay. Oh my god, that smells so good. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like right now. Um, it's not going to be a, uh, it's not going to be a very accurate color. Um, you'll get the accurate uh, color from the iced tea version, uh, as you saw. So, <gasps> oh, excuse me, I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, go ahead, check it out. So, keep in mind, this is uh, about blue, so it's going to look, it looks a little purple to me. Uh, I don't know what all that is floating. It's probably just like the, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's probably like this, this, just like the residue, the dust that gets washed out. <laughs> well, all my, my, uh, <laughs> all of my, uh, my streams get awkward at some point. You should know this by now. Uh, okay, so the moment I have been waiting for, for a long time now, mm, I'm going to take my first sip. Oh, that is really nice. It's got a strong uh, passion fruit and strawberry, um, but surprisingly, you also taste a lot of the lemongrass. So you're getting like the, the, the citrus sweetness and a nice tart to go along with it oh it's really nice ah oh. i'm getting like like it's it's a sweetness but there's there's a slight smokiness to it too my tea is shiny. Like uh, it's it's got like the residue from from like the marigolds and stuff. Juliet, welcome. It's got like like uh, all the tea. The, the I don't want to call it tea dust because that makes it sound <laughs> like the only time that I use tea dust is when I talk about Lipton and Juliet. We we were talking about that uh, yesterday. Uh, you know how I feel about Lipton. Um, so yeah, whenever I say tea dust. I use it to talk about Lipton, but not, I don't want to talk it for this. I want, I, I'll call it residue. Um, how do I, how do all those little critters floating in the water taste? It tastes delicious. Like, I have no complaints. I'm going to actually turn, uh, open up the, uh, the door a little bit because I'm starting to feel a little hot. Uh, I've got two, <laughs> two things going here, so. Oh, I'm like surrounded by, uh, I mean, is there, is there such thing as enjoying it a little too much? There's no such thing as too much joy. That's like my, that's my philosophy for the night. But I do have two hot, uh, two hot tea things going. Uh, Juliet, just to catch you up, this is an experiment that I'm doing. I'm doing a passion fruit tea, both hot and iced. Because um, I want to do a comparison since this is like the first day of summer. Why not, you know? It's just Chicago water. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's like sea monkeys. They just hatch in the faucet. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to call it dust because dust makes it sound like, like it's just dusty. Um, I mean, like the residue is just like it's it's the the worn out stuff that when it gets knocked around in the bag and you know like it sheds. Um, I I just prefer to call it residue. Ooh. Oh, that's really nice. Like, I'm surprised at how much pro, how pronounced the lemongrass is. Like, I've had the passion fruit. And, and it smells, you have like the, the passion fruit, the raspberry, and the strawberry. And it smells like a, 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 a berry blend. But when you taste it, it's, um, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll show it in just a moment. I'm waiting for it to, to, to stop dripping so that it doesn't make a mess when I, when I do. Um, but when you, when you taste it, the lemongrass is really profound, and I'm, I'm kind of surprised uh, because I've had lemongrass uh, in, in other teas before, and it's usually acted as kind of like a, uh, a flavor enhancer so that when you have it with something like vanilla or coconut or something like that, 
Uh, it adds like a little tinge uh, of of sour to the sweetness. This one is kind of like overlapping. I'm assuming because raspberries uh, are pretty tart as it is, uh, and it's blending with the lemongrass uh, and giving it kind of like a lemonade effect without the full um, sourness. So this is I'm really liking the the way that the, that it tastes hot. Uh, it's, it's, it's surprisingly a good blend of both. It's a good blend of sweet and tart. Um, not too tart where it's going to make me go, but it's like leaving a nice kick on the sides and the back of my tongue. But the sweetness is going from the front into the middle. So it's got a well-rounded flavor, and I'm really, I'm really digging it. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to drink uh, my my hot tea a little bit quickly, uh, quickly, because I've got two to get through. So <laughs> don't mind me if I keep sipping and sipping, because you know this is, it's a time constraint. I don't want to keep you guys up all night as much as, uh, as much as you'd love it, but. <laughs> Mm. Like a little tartness, yeah. It's 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 sharp. It's uh, just like you're saying. Uh, it, it's it's a nice cut through the flavor, and you know it's, it's something that I, I really enjoy. I think this tea is now good. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't think it's going to um, to drip anymore. So I'm going to show you guys real quick what it looks like after it's steeped. And, come on, there we go. <laughs> ah, there we go. So check that out. Like, there's a lot of uh, colors going on in there. The marigold looks almost like mango. That super duper yellowness, that used to be marigold. Uh, the fruit looks a lot more... Um, a lot more juicy after absorbing all the water. You see... The mixture of like the strawberry, raspberry, uh, that kind of looks like pineapple, but it's not. That's, I believe, that is, that's, uh, that's probably the ma more marigold right here, but I can't really tell. Because there's not supposed to be any, any yellow pineapple, uh, yellow fruits in there. Uh, but you see like the lemongrass on the side, this green-ish stuff here. That's the lemongrass, and that is, uh, it's, it looks a lot different after. It looks more like a puree than a tea when it first started. Uh, so what was that, the uh, low to mid pucker factor? You don't have to finish it to know. Yeah, that is absolutely true. Like, it's, it's very mild. It's, it's enough to keep it interesting, at least in my opinion. There we go. And regardless of me trying hard not to make a mess, I still made a little bit of a mess. <laughs> but it's okay. I'll I'll clean it up again. I'll clean it up later. Mm. Oh, that is really nice. Like I'm I'm getting right now in that sip, I'm getting more of the raspberry. Um I think that now that my 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 tongue is expecting the tartness of the uh, of the lemongrass. I'm starting to taste a little bit more of the the raspberry, not so much the strawberry and the passion fruit as uh, as I thought. Because when you smell it, that's all you smell. You smell the berries, um, but when you add the lemongrass to it, then you taste the uh, the lemon and the raspberry more than anything else. That's, I find that interesting because they say that 80% of taste is smell, but it doesn't taste anything more than what it, what it does when it was dry, if that makes any sense. Uh, which you can really appreciate the, the transformation when you're taking the time out to think about it. Because you're getting this, this kind of like an unexpected twist, which... 
I mean, I love that in my movies, so why not <laughs> in my uh, in my tea as well? You know, it's it's a pleasant surprise uh, because it's not what you'd what you expect going in, but it's it's a good effect when it comes out. <clears throat> and there's a kind of like I said before, there's a kind of smokiness to it that I'm getting, and it's really, um, it's really soothing, actually. It's kind of like, um, like the back end of a cough drop. You know how it's, it's kind of like, uh, effervescent, but, um, when you have, like, an effer effervescence of Vicks versus a smoky effervescence, which it kind of, like, evaporates and it has a more wholesome... Uh, savory flavor on the back end that I really start I, I really get that uh, after like the in the aftertaste it's not as strong as lapsang but it is uh, in that vein if for, for for you guys who have had lapsang and can appreciate it uh, that's something to really look forward to in this blend, because um, it's really it's 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 this is a full flavored tea. Like there there's a lot to explore when when you're drinking it uh, and it's laying in your mouth. And I mean I, I this is the kind if I had the time I would drink some and like swish it around just to see uh, if I could if, if I could discover something new. Um, I probably do that on my own time, cause like this is this is gonna be a, a, a bit packed. Uh, yes, I heart lapsang sao chong too. It was love at first uh, at first taste. Uh, I was a little bit when I first smelled it. I was a little bit uh, iffy. Uh, the guy who recommended it to me, he was like, "Be careful not to uh, not to oversteep it." Uh, you want you'll want to understeep it for your first try, just so that it doesn't scare you off. Uh, so I did the very smart thing. I steeped it as much as I possibly could and drank it all down. <laughs> and I never looked back. I'm like, shoot, I'm doing this. I'm doing this right. <laughs> I sat there and I loved that tea. I do not regret it uh, over. Well, I didn't even over oversteep it. I steeped it to um, the regular. Uh, the regular way that it should be, uh, but I've never had a problem with lapsang. I don't think it's really easy to oversteep, even if uh, even if it is a black tea. The smoking the smokiness of it is so much it covers a multitude of sins, uh, so to speak. There's it's really hard to find um, that bitter taste of the black tea with all that smoke in the way. So I say I love it. Mm. And, and, as before I forget, as a side note, uh, the last time we had uh, the stream was with Gorgeous Geisha, and I did actually have it iced, and oh my god, it was incredible. Let me tell you, the, oh, I, I, I know I covered, I forget which week it was, where I covered how uh, the frothiness of a tea can show the quality of it. I brewed some of this on uh, last week, and I'll, I'll show you guys, the frothiness was no joke. Like, I had it filled up to about here, and the froth was up to here. Not only did it look like that froth, like, like that huge layer of froth was a good couple of inches, it stayed there the entire week. Like, we just finished that yesterday. Oh, no, no, we finished it uh, earlier today, and that layer of froth had gone from this much to, like, that much, and it stayed there the entire week. I was like, oh, my God, this stuff is incredible. Like, I, it's supposed to be organic. It's supposed to be, like, a sign of quality, and maybe because it was airtight, the, the bubbles weren't popping, um, but, like, it was, it was incredible. I had never had an experience like that with with any iced tea 
So I guess uh, when I aerated it, it was it was fluffy. Like I have never had such a fluffy drink outside of a milkshake in my entire life, and it came out so good. So if you ever get the chance, uh, go for the gorgeous geisha. Uh, I, I if you guys can find the link from last week, remember it is from Australia, so you would be paying uh, quite a bit for the shipping, but it may be worth it. Mm. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hopefully pour the rest of this out so I can move on. Nope, there's still some left. Uh, is there? Yeah, there's still some left, but I'm going to leave it in there because I'll drink that later. I don't want to go too far over uh, over my time. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a couple sips of this. And then I'll move on to the uh, the iced tea portion because this thing has been sitting there for about forty five minutes, uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Like I I, I have been known to make um, make iced tea herbal herbal iced tea. <laughs> That's the disclaimer. Uh, herbal iced tea uh, sit for about an hour. Uh, you cannot do that with green, black, white oolong. Or uh, green, black, white, or or oolong, <laughs> yeah, um, because it's it's gonna mess up. So I feel confident that this is gonna it's gonna hold up well. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good though. Like I I'm I'm loving this flavor. Uh, I, I, I'm debating if I want to finish this or or keep it in the teapot uh, for a while. I'll probably finish the rest of it after the uh, after the stream. Uh, but I'm like I'm, I'm taking way too much time on the uh, on the hot tea. I'll, I'll I'll never get to the cold tea uh, at this rate. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm going to put this tea back and drink it later because oh, I don't want it to get cold. Okay, so moving on to the second portion of this uh, of this stream. Harry Potter. Yes, it's a Harry Potter mug. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> it is. But... Oh, okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. I'm going to now whew, remove the lid, let it drip naturally. There we go. And now, of course, you can't have iced tea without the ice. This is going to take a couple minutes because. The ice is kind of uh, lumped together. See, look at that. It's like hard to break. But it'll melt really fast. There we go. I would have used more water, except, you know, for the time... The, the time difference. Uh, I mean, honestly, hot and cold, it'll just melt faster and uh, cool it, cool the, the tea down faster. So this is actually kind of working in my favor. Ooh. But you'll want to keep some space in between, you'll see. In between here and the top, because this this uh, picture was made for shaking. So I'll just put a few more pieces of ice. Yeah, that should be it. Okay, here we go. Now I'm just going to twist off the top. And you'll want to keep it 
for this portion anyway. Nice and tight. Uh, yes, yes it is. Gina, welcome, welcome. So yes, that is my secondary tea stash up here. There's a lot to go through and we don't have the time to go through that, so <laughs> we'll, oh no, don't fall. There we go. So we'll, we'll cover that another time. Doggone it, this thing keeps on slipping. All right, maybe I can prop it up. There we go. Okay, so with this particular picture, um, you can go ahead and uh, I gotta stand back a little bit because uh, I gotta do a lot of movement, but uh, you put the ice in there, a good amount of ice. I can already feel it cooling off. Um, so I'll go ahead and just shake it all up. Margaritas, anyone? <laughs> Look at how aerated it got right away. Look at all of that. Right, You got the froth. It's already gathering up at the top. No, don't fall. <laughs> this thing, I don't know, man. It doesn't like me when I'm, uh, when I'm, I'm a little bit away. Oh, uh, you know what? There. <laughs> that, I just put it inside the tissue box. So that should uh, be safe for now. So go ahead and make it nice and airy. And you can feel it actually get cold in your hands. Alright, that should be enough. Well, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in just a moment after everything has settled. Right now, all the fizz is rising to the top. And that's part of why I really like this, uh, this pitcher. Because it aerates and it holds the froth in. So, okay, yeah, there you go. Looks like everything has settled. Check it out. Look at how much froth there is. That's a good inch, uh, maybe inch and a half. If you count the froth, like the, the, the bigger bubbles up here. And that is what held all week long. And it's, it's, it's incredible. Like, it, it makes it nice and airy and uh, it gives it a soft flavor. Uh, and in last week's case, it made it creamy. Uh, in this week, we're going to see because I'm I'm excited. Like, right now, this is going to be incredible. So, I'm going to go ahead and drink this without further ado ooh that is nice and cold <laughs> i'm loving it all right there we go so i'm gonna pour that out keep in mind this is not sweetened this is all as is it's probably not going to need it as well. Mm. Okay, so now I'm getting a lot more of the uh, of the sweetness and the water. I'll, I'll talk about that in just a minute too, because that is something that's interesting uh, that I have learned throughout my years of experience. There is a phenomenon. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that in just a moment. But first, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my 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 sip. Oh, that is incredible. Mm, I love it. It's naturally sweet. It's It's got a nice fruity blend. Um, I'm still getting some of the lemongrass, but not a whole lot. There is a phenomenon that um, I have discovered, and it, it, it's always interested me. And, and other people have talked about it as well. Um, the colder... The iced tea is, the sweeter it is, the hotter it is, the more savory it is. Uh, so that's why some teas taste better when it's hot, other teas taste better when it's cold. Uh, it all depends on personal preference, but um, in, gen in general, not every tea can be, uh, can be iced successfully. Uh, otherwise, it would be like... It, 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 I mean, it would be heaven if it if it could, you know. <laughs> this, but unfortunately, not every tea tastes good hot and cold. Uh, this is one of them. Like herbal blends are pretty safe, uh, especially fruit blends. 
with with some exceptions. I mean, I've never had a uh, an iced chamomile. Um, I do not know if that would taste good. Um, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll do it just to, just to see, but I do not trust it. Mm. But in this case, this has got like a kind of strawberry, raspberry, lemonade thing going. And it tastes so good. Oh man, no, it was uh, no, uh, no sugar, no uh, sweeteners, no nothing. It was just pure tea. And oh, it's, it's, I'm loving this thing. So I'm going to store this in the fridge after the stream is done. And it's going to keep, you know, I mean, I'm, it, this is not going to last long because I'm going to drink a lot of it. <laughs> um, and this is like the perfect way to kick off summer. You know, you have a nice tropical blend uh, of iced tea in the fridge. And, you know, I mean, you can't ask for anything more. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up the floor once again. Questions, comments, anything you want to talk about, throw it my way. I encourage it. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to open up the. I'm going to talk about some announcements. Feel free to uh, interrupt me if you want, um, because you guys always come first. Uh, okay, so announcements um, on the site. I next week I'm going to do the. Um, I'm going to do the uh, the the. the uh, the raffle, the raffle. <laughs> it took me a minute. Uh, I'm going to do the raffle, which I have not done for, for quite some time. And I'm sorry about that. I have, it's been a mess, but uh, I'm going to set it up so you guys can join. Um, probably I would next week is the last week of June. So I, I, I believe, yeah. Yeah, I'm, my mind is gone. <laughs> anyway, okay, so next week is, uh, I'll start it probably on Thursday. Um, and we'll, uh, whoever wants to enter can enter um, within the within the community, of course. Um, I'll announce what the prize is <clears throat> the day that it comes out. And I will announce the winner on the following Monday, which should be July 1st, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so you guys can enter in uh, one per person, one per person. <laughs> uh, I don't remember if I had that opportunity to to shut off multiple, uh, multiple things, but I will check the entries before I before I hit the running and delete any uh, any multiple entries. So yeah, one per person. Um, I cannot think because okay, next month next month I want to do another tea crawl. Uh, the first one that we had last month was incredible. We had a we had a great time. Uh, so I want to do it again. Uh, this time hopefully we'll be able to gather more participants. Um, so for July, we'll be setting that up, and also, uh, I will be taking a poll soon, um, probably next month, uh, because I am, Juliet is here, uh, from Tilula, and I would like to have a, a tea class set up just for, like, the community members, so that it gives us a chance to, like, get together, uh, get to know each other, fellowship a little bit. Um, so we're, right now we're talking about how we're going to set it up and we're going to open it up to you guys. Um, and we'll, we'll see how, we'll see how it goes. I would love to have like regular meetings, uh, tea related meetings with you guys. It doesn't even have to be tea related, but it probably should be. Um, so yeah, we're going to, we're working on, on a bunch of things with the community and like, I am excited to see where, where this all, where this all goes. Uh, because, you know, it's so easy to, uh, just get into a rut and not reach out and meet new people and make new friends. Um, and I hear that a lot, like a lot of people just say, 
Uh, you know, they, they 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 talk about how they would like to meet more people, but there isn't very much opportunity. Well, I'm providing an opportunity for you guys. Uh, absolutely. This is going to be an incredible experience. I'm always looking for ways to get people engaged. And, you know, like, this is going to be a very... Um, this is going to be a very, uh, a, a very good experience for everybody involved. I, like, I feel that in my heart. Um, and this is, you know, I mean, well, before I get too, <laughs> too much on the subject, you know, I would like to meet new people as well. You know, this is going to be a great time for people to get together, get to know each other, have some fun, uh, learn about tea uh, on both the tea crawls and the uh, tea classes. Um, so yeah, we're going to, um, we're going to, we're working on that right now. Uh, hopefully we can get a good amount of people interested and we'll see how it goes because this is, it's going to be an incredible experience. Um, I have taken the T101 class, uh, over there and it was, it, it, it was so intensive. Like I've never had a, uh, a, a tea tasting that was actually also a lesson, you know, and, you know, granted, this was, this was stuff that I had learned over the course of months and years, but they had covered it in about an hour and a half, and, you know, I mean, it, it was, it was a great experience, mm -hmm. I loved it, and, you know, I want to do it again, um, either the T101 class, or, a class that everybody can can enjoy. So that is coming down the down the pipeline around August or September. Nothing is set in stone quite yet, uh, except the fact that we want to do it. Ooh. Ah, okay. Uh, so I'm almost. I'm down to my last sips. Um. Questions, comments, anything you want to talk about? I know Teresa, if she was here, uh, she would ask me what this tea would go would go well with. This tea is like it's great on a standalone. I don't know what I would pair it with off the bat. It would probably have to be a dessert because it's a very it's a very uh, sweet tea on its own. <clears throat> if I were to pick, I would say maybe coconut custard because you get like the coconut custard. Um, the mix with the fruit, the berries, uh, it's, and, and, and the lemon, I mean, it's all tropical. So I'm, I'm loving this. If I were to make this with a, uh, with a, a meal, I would do that probably with salmon, like a nice grilled salmon, uh, something that's not too, um, not too strong tasting to overpower the tea. Uh, I think that salmon might uh, might complement this well. Like a, a salmon with maybe a, on a bed of rice. Mmm. Whew. Okay, this is good. So I'm about to finish this off and wrap it up. Um, if you have any questions, comments, now's the time, throw it at me, or forever hold your peace, because this is the end, my friend. Mmm. Woo! That was an incredible experience, and I want to thank you guys for joining me tonight. This was so much fun. I'm going to finish the hot tea, <laughs> and then... Spend the rest of my night in the bathroom because that is a lot of liquid to have at my age. Uh, so I'm signing off for now. Have a great night. Take care. Wonderful weekend. Hope your weather is better than what we're having out here. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.